Last month, we did a video on the elephant's foot. It was our most popular video, and unfortunately, I had to take it down. According to commenters across the world, we got so much wrong in that video that it was laughable. Well, I won't stand for that on this channel. So, here we go again. In today's video, we'll be covering the elephant's foot. If you enjoy today's video, then don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and hit that all important bell button to be informed of all our future videos. With all that said, let's get straight into today's video. Now, the elephant's foot isn't some decapitated elephant limb. It is the single most dangerous object on planet Earth. A radioactive mass left over from the colossal explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear facility. The year is 1986, and the heart of the nuclear Chernobyl facility is about to erupt and spew nuclear material across large areas of Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, and beyond. The power complex, stationed north of Kiev in Ukraine, some 20 kilometers south of the Belarus borders, was made up of four RBMK-1000 nuclear reactors. Units 1 and 2 were constructed between 1980 and 1977, but Units 2 and 4 were completed in 1983. At the time of the accident, there were, in fact, two more reactors being constructed. The town of Chernobyl itself had a population of 12,500 people, but the surrounding area had a population of over 100,000. On the 25th of April 1986, those 100,000 lives were put at risk. Before a standard shutdown procedure, the reactor crew at Chernobyl 4 were preparing for a test, which would measure how long turbines would spin and supply power to the main circulating pumps if power from the main electrical supply was lost. The test had been carried out once before the previous year, but the power from the turbine was lost too quickly, so another test with new voltage regulators had to be completed. A series of operator actions, including but not limited to the disabling of automatic shutdown mechanisms, left the reactor in an extremely unstable condition. As the control rods were inserted into the reactor, a dramatic surge of power was caused. This led to hot fuel interacting with the cooling water, and a rapid increase in steam production and an overall increase in pressure. It was this pressure that led to the 1,000 ton cover plate of the reactor to detach partially. This ruptured the fuel channels and jammed all the control rods halfway in their lowering procedure. The intense steam generation spread throughout the entire core, causing a steam explosion, which released fission products into the atmosphere. Two or three seconds later, a second explosion threw out fragments from the fuel channels and hot graphite. Two workers were killed by these explosions. After this, Chernobyl Unit 4 was enclosed in a large concrete shelter, which was quickly erected by the October of 1986. This sarcophagus was recently replaced by a new safe confinement, or NSC. The NSC was built adjacent to the facility before being moved into place on rails. It was designed to cover Unit 4 and the concrete sarcophagus from 86. Underneath all of this is a solid mass of melted nuclear fuel mixed with a large amount of concrete, sand, and core sealing material. The elephant's foot, left lurking in the basement area below the core. While the fires were being controlled and workers were trying to contain the radiation of the breached core, the concrete beneath the reactor was steaming hot and had been breached by a corium lava. Later, with the help of a remote control camera, scientists discovered an intensely radioactive mass. It was dubbed the elephant's foot called as such because of how wrinkly it looked on the surface. The elephant's foot is incredibly deadly. Even if you only spent 30 seconds near it, you'd be struck by dizziness and fatigue. After two minutes, your cells would begin to hemorrhage. If you were unfortunate enough to spend five or more minutes around the elephant's foot, you would be dead in a matter of days. The elephant's foot is in fact part of the largest known deposit of corium on Earth, and has managed to form a strange technogenic material known as Chernobylite. The threat from the elephant's foot, though subdued by its two tombs, is not quite over. 
the radioactive blob is slowly eating away at the floor that it rests on. Underneath the facility lies water. And if the elephant's foot was ever able to take a bath, another explosion would be the result, spreading more radioactive debris across the area and spewing even more radiation into the atmosphere and local water supplies. One unexpected effect of the Chernobyl event was its impact on wildlife. Nature has been closing her grip around the city of Chernobyl, and it has become almost a refuge for animals both large and small. With no humans there to look after buildings and keep plant growth at bay, the city of Chernobyl is slowly returning to its natural roots, with a beating heart of molten corium at its centre. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and we also hope that we've been able to be much more accurate and less vague in this second attempt on the subject. We would have never released false information if we had realised it at the time, and we are happy to rectify any and all mistakes that we ever make. With that said, if you enjoyed today's content then please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that all important bell button to be informed of all our future videos. But for now, goodbye.